Argo City falls in Supergirl issue 6. As the army scramble jets to combat the cyborg Kryptonians that are protecting Argo City as it descends on National City, Supergirl continues to take on her father, the cyborg Superman. Kara says that he failed Argo long ago when he turned its people into monsters, but Zor-El challenges his daughter, saying that he is rescuing them and whenever Krypton was challenged, they did what they needed to to survive. In this case, using National City's people as materials to create more cyborgs. Taking their fight into the skies, Kara saves a jet from crashing after her father throws one at her. Fighting off the cyborgs, Cameron contacts Dr. Veritas, who asks if they should deploy the secret weapon. But Cameron says no since Supergirl has a plan. Using the code Supergirl input into the Catco servers, Cat sends out a signal which stops all the cyborgs as well as Zorel in their tracks. It also causes the floating city to fall into the bay of National City. The next day, Kara arrives back at Catco, giving a very compelling reason why Cat should make her a young innovator. Later, as Kara whips up a traditional Kryptonian dinner for Jeremiah and Eliza, they are interrupted by a call from the DEO. Weeks later, Kara visits her father, now held in DEO containment without his cybernetics. She tells him that she will not give up on him. So Supergirl's first big arc finished this issue and what a great story it was. I love how Steve Orlando blended the comic Supergirl and the TV version and it felt very flawless and rather natural as well. And again like every other Superman family book this week we saw a past character make a cameo. This time with a small appearance by Strange Visitor or at least her containment suit which interestingly enough is actually Superman Blue's old containment suit. Uh, again, going with my theory about Superman Blue being around in this universe is kind of sort of fueling the fire to that theory a little bit. They also seem to be hinting at maybe Cyborg Superman might somehow turn into his more classical uh, version. Obviously, the more classical version is Hank Henshaw, but he's obviously doing his own thing at the moment. So maybe they'll make Zor-El look more like the classic version of Cyborg Superman since we've seen him in in a bunch of different things and I don't know whether it's this one or whether they're actually going to bring back the classic Hank Henge or Cyborg Superman I'm not really too sure but there's definitely a precedence here with Zor having all his cybernetics removed and the DEO having him maybe wanting to upgrade him somehow but uh, it's definitely something to watch out for and I imagine they'll be doing something with that rather soon I'm going to give this issue an 8 out of 10 Thanks for watching, remember to leave a comment in the comment section below or follow the links on screen now to other reviews or topic videos. If you haven't already, remember to subscribe for more weekly reviews and videos.